Okay, let's talk about sex. Yes. Uh, I'm really not gonna waste time. I'm just gonna go straight to, you know, my, my issue with uh, sex in the wrong context. Of course, when you're married, as a married man and a married woman, when you have sex, it's godly. It's perfect, it's okay. But when you're single and you have sex, it becomes fornication. And when you're married and you have sex with somebody else besides your wife, it becomes adultery. My issue isn't really about, yeah, fornication and adultery. My issue really is the consequences of sex. Basically what it does is it brings two individuals together as one. Now within the confines of marriage, perfect husband, wife, two, one. At the center, God. But when you're single and it's fornication, now that's not you, the lady, and the guy, and God in the center. That's the lady, the man, and the devil at the center. Yeah, you heard me right. The lady, the guy, and the devil at the center. Here's the disadvantage from the perspective of fornication and adultery. Your spirits become one. Now, it gets more interesting, how? Um, take for example, Lady A has one spirit and she's never slept with anybody before. And uh, she fornicates with Mr. B. Mr. B has slept with about maybe two or three ladies. Now, let's presume that these two ladies have uh, one spirit each falsified, but let's presume. So that Mr. A has, I mean, Mr. B has uh, two spirits in him already. So Mr. B here has three spirits functioning in his body. Now, Mrs. A has only one spirit. Why? Because she slept with nobody else. Now, when Mrs. A sleeps with Mr. B, she is going to inherit three more spirits. But it, it doesn't work that way. One, three, three, one, nah. In the spiritual realm, there's something called the multiplication factor, and it's kind of different from math. Let me explain. Now, when uh, one man has one spirit and he engages other spirits, like I said, imagine he has two other, he, he slept with two other ladies, and we presume that they both have one spirit each. He has three. Now, here's the problem. When he sleeps with her, the other two spirits that have latched onto him are gonna have access to her. So if the first lady has a spirit of, uh, say, masturbation, and the second lady has a spirit of anger, now those two spirits already would have found a host in the guy. The guy is the host and they're already, you know, having some nice time with the guy. The only problem is this. See those two spirits? When they find a new host, they don't come uh, into that host alone. So the spirit of masturbation goes and looks for seven more wicked spirits than itself to host the guy. So that's one spirit of masturbation with seven more wicked spirits. That's how many? Eight. So eight spirits will invade Mr. Mr. B. Now, the other lady, who has the spirit of uh, maybe, uh, let's say, lies or anger, for example. The spirit of anger coming into Mr. B will come with seven more spirits, more wicked than itself. So if anger was the starting point, think of what the next level would be like, because evil progresses. Now, that's seven plus seven. That's 14 spirits engaging Mr. B. Whew, he's a strong man indeed. Now, 14 spirits now have access to Mrs. A. Now, when those 14 are going into Mrs. A, they will not go alone. Those 14 will go back and get seven more spirits, wicked than themselves, to host her. So, 14 times seven will invade Mrs. A. Do the math. Now, try and imagine how many spirits Mrs. A has inherited. To cast out those spirits, it's gonna take a whole lot of work. Because the Bible says, um, 
Can you plunder the loot of a strong man except you bind him first? So to send these 14 times 7 spirits out of her, you will have to bind them all. Go back to the very root. Now this is presuming, presuming that Mr. B has slept with just two women. Now, it's not peculiar to men alone. Same thing for ladies. If the guy is a virgin, yeah, I know, I know, I know you guys were saying virgin, yeah, men are rarely virgins, but we do have men who are virgins. Now, if the guy has never slept with anybody before, and she's the one, flip side, who slept with two guys who have these spirits, try and imagine how many spirits he's inheriting likewise. So, you know, when you have sex with somebody, yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's just sex, it's, it's a feeling. Uh, you are inheriting spirits at the same time. So when you will be delivered, you will need some serious form of deliverance and it's not just about the deliverance. It's the consequences of what you will suffer during the deliverance, during and after the deliverance. So. For those who just think that sex is a thing of, you know, just, it's, it's a fling, yeah. During a fling, you will inherit tons of spirits. During, du during your flinging, you know, uh, it's just advisable, really. Keep yourself. Yeah. I'll be back.